Hello, thanks for dropping in. I was working on a little program, but I realized, well, I kind of lost. I lost my way, and I was not sure what I was doing. Anyway, this is not exactly what I had in mind, but let's try this. So, we have, we've set X to zero, we have changed the screen color, we have changed the background color, we have changed the cursor color, and it's ready to print Commodore 64. Isn't that lovely? Then we put in a little counter, x equals x plus 1. And what we're going to do is in 30 we'll put if x is greater than 15, then x equals 0. Beautiful. And now what we're going to do in 40 is we are going to Poke five three two eight zero comma x and then a colon and we're going to a colon and we're going to poke five three two eight one comma x and then in fifty we will go to yeah. And if this is, if I have made mistakes, this should run. If I have made mistakes, we'll get a syntax error. But so be it. Anyway, if I do this, I think what's going to happen is, every time it goes to print Commodore, the screen color will change, and the background color will change. Let's see. Oh, yes. And that is what we have done. And if I press the... Control key, we can see better of what it is doing. But this is more sort of colorful and mystical and psychedelic. So let me press up. We'll see. Oh, we got some interesting colors there. Yeah, maybe. I'll do. Now, what I'm just doing here is I wiped out the line number and I'm just going to issue this command to switch things back so I can see better. And then I will list. So, essentially what we've done is we put in a little counter, what you call X, and every time it runs through and prints Commodore 64, it pokes a different location into the background and screen color locations so that they change. Now, the only other thing that maybe we might do is, let's see, maybe in 45, We'll put in what's called a for next loop. Let's say for i equals 1 to 100. And then we'll put in a colon and we'll put in next i. And all this does is slow things down. Something going to go right. For i equals 1 to 100. Next up. Go to 10. That seemed to take an awful lot longer than what it should have. I didn't use anything else. Oh, that seems strange. Okay, let's change this. To i equals 1 to 10. Maybe I just didn't wait long enough, but I don't think so. Alright, definitely something here has gone wrong. Because now, I don't know where it is. Oh, maybe there's an error. Have I got an error? Aha. Okay, now I printed Commodore 64. Oh, we have an error, which I can't see. Syntax error in 45. Oh, I think I see what I might have done. I believe I pressed the zero instead of the letter. Oh, that would do it. Funny how not much of anything can make a big difference. Let's try this. Run. Okay. So now it is running. 
And that did not make a whole big difference. But we'll change this to 99. And that should slow it down some. It should. So we can better see the thing printing and the change in the colors. So yes, see how one little slip up can cause near disaster. Be it a zero or an O. So let us review the program and also I'm going to just get things to switch back again. This again. So here's our quick program. Zero, x equals zero. Which is kind of redundant because every time you run the program it assumes that, but anyway, it's good practice. Then we change the background color, we change the screen color, we change the cursor color. And then we print Commodore 64. And then we have x equals x plus one. And if x is greater than 15, then x equals zero. That means, of course, that it will keep just poking the, the values between 0 and 15 into the screen color and the background color. Or actually, the background color and the screen color. And then, just to slow it down a bit, there's a for next loop. For i equals 1 to 99, colon, next i, go to 10. Remember, and I could space this out, and it, it actually shows it a little better. For i, oh dear. Oh, now we're into quote mode. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to type this again. 4i equals 1, the word 2, 99. Next, i. And that is maybe easier to see, and does it still work? It does. The, of course, memory is critical, and you don't want to take more than you have to. But anyway, the for next loop is rather important to the time delay. For i equals 1 to 99, colon, next i, go to 10. And away it goes. And there we have, once again, a simple yet colorful basic program on your Commodore 64. Anyway, keep exploring. Keep imagining. Keep trying different things. Look in the manual. Look for commands. Ask questions. There's lots of places on Facebook uh, about programming. And if you're brand new, don't feel bad. Everybody started basically typing in a quick program who probably printed their name over and over. Probably so. <sighs> so, once again, thanks for coming. Always a pleasure, and uh, we'll see you again. Bye for now.